Wow, wow, wow. New radiator. This is on the under the cooling fans on the front of the locomotive. This old radiator here uh, developed a leak. It was leaking uh, as fast as they could put water in it. So we got a new radiator here. And uh, not too many people get to see this view. Thought I'd show you that. I just uh, used my boom truck there. And uh, I set it in for him. Obviously, I couldn't film while I was setting it in. It was, uh, you gotta be <laughs> really uh, careful what you're doing here. So I thought I'd show you this. Get this and, and put that top cover over there with the uh, cooling fans on it. I don't know. If I'll be able to pick that one up or not. We'll see. Did I do good, Nick? You did good. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, you were did good. You were my motivation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only I could get I, my wife to talk like that. There you go. <laughs> I'm not marrying you, Nick. But I like you anyway. Mix the uh, locomotive a contractor mechanic. He used to work for EMD, uh, where he built yeah, and getting, rebuilt getting, uh, traction motors. So it's nice to have somebody that uh, is pretty knowledgeable here go. helping us out. All righty. There you have it. Let's see what else we get into today. Hold on, let me get it in, folks. Now you pushed it in down the bottom there. Could have picked a colder day to do this. Hold on a second, see. Let me get it in and then you can do that. All right. Let's go. sand tank okay there you go good love it when the plan works i'll tell you what you're good nick you are really good we're lucky we got somebody like you out here now we're on number 22 locomotive here got a repair job i'll show you here in a bit okay Been down for about a week. They've been running, uh, and uh, our number 3098 is down also. It needs a uh, new power pack assembly. So it's be sitting right behind this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Waiting to get fixed next. So we've been running single locomotive here a week, week and a half. Alrighty. We'll be back. Okay, sorry about the noise. Got it up here at a couple more adjustments. They'll be uh, ready to be set that up on top there. Two cooling fans. I didn't know if it was going to pick it up or not, so. But it did so far. Maybe we can get it set over there on top and get this uh, locomotive back in line. We'll have to get her started up. No water in it, it's not heated. It was uh, pretty cold last night, so we'll see what happens. All right, we'll be back. Sorry, I, I'm not going to be able to uh, film this while I'm, uh, I got my uh, remote box here and I need both hands to uh, run the uh, boom. So, won't be able to video while I'm uh, actually setting it in, but got a little pause in the action for now. Okay, I got it set in there. Just getting a couple bolt holes lined up. Down. All right, looking good, looking good. Got one of our guys over there, I don't want to show him. These are contractors. Now 
it down. Here she comes. Okay. Nice. Hopefully we can get this number 22 run and put on the end of this trip before he gets that, that dumped off. We got a fill full of water yet. That's the water fill right there. That just dripped off the hose. We got that runner, hose running from the shop. Then we'll uh, try to get her started. We get her filled with water. Huh? Oh yeah. Hope I'm here for that. Pretty cool. A little bit of braking going on. Slow down here. Gonna try to start to crank it over here, suck some of that water down. Got our valves open here. In case there's moisture in there, it rained the other day. And uh, we blow, we'll crank it over and I'll we'll suck the water down and fill some more water up and also we'll, uh, get any moisture out of the pistons come out of there when he cranks it over. It's gonna pop a lot. Pop a lot. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to crank it just a little bit. Okay. Okay, we'll give her another shot. See if it'll start. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. We got 3098 out of the shop. It's on the other side. And pushing this one in. It's a nice heated shop. Let it sit in there for six or seven hours and hopefully it'll start then. It's too cold out here. Caterpillar IT24 does a pretty good job. Not hard, not hard to shove when it's uh, on grade, level grade. But uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, see if the chain does. Hope the chain doesn't break when he goes to stop. 
unfortunately I won't be here to see it start up so it's gonna be six or seven hours sitting in there before they're gonna try it again all right and it's the end of my shift actually so I'm heading home all right